Hello, Mr. Lopez. I'm here today about the track you released nearly two months ago. How did it sell, and what was the publicity you got from that? Well, I got randomers coming up to me, MC Gearwood and Porter in the street, and it was like, it was like, wow, we are songs banging, but we never quite got to produce it like on a major scale. It could have took over Christmas by a storm. Could have gone to America and everything, but didn't plan out that well. Uh, it's a shame, really, because the Christmas Chronicles was a rather big hit in that town called Bridlington. At one point, I think, was it 40,000 people had it on their phone? And that's a lot for a small town of Bridlington. No, and it never I, sold anywhere else. I won't say quite 40,000, but a good few hundred had it on the phone. I know loads of people came up to me. It was good, we could have made some money, but sadly, circumstances changed. Yeah, circumstances have changed. I mean, especially with the uh, recession and the... Um, you know, in the credit crunch and all that, uh, people can't afford to be buying CDs at this moment in time. Of course they can't. Two quid each, it's nothing. Two pound each, but that's two pound that they need to give their kids for dinner money or maybe even give it to their favourite charity or uh, yeah, such. So and... to do it. I spend two pound when I go for a shit, basically. It's nothing. Uh, we can't have that language on air, Ham, so I'm sorry, mate. No, it's all right. Uh, you... Thank you, though, Mr Lopez. You've... What? Uh, interview me. I want interviewing. I want my five minutes of fame. My <laughs> hair look all right? <laughs> yes, your hair looks fine, Mr. Mr. Lopez. It's quite all right. Th thank you, Mr. Lopez.